Hello everybody, my name is Anand Chesh, welcome back to another video. So, this is yet another part of Undertale. I just defeated uh, Medicine and I couldn't record it because, well, it took me several attempts, but I finally did it. Here, uh, I had a conversation with uh, Alphys, and he told me that in order to cross like the barrier, you need like a human and a monster soul. So, meaning we gotta kill, uh, what do you call him? Asgore. So, this could be the last episode. I'm not sure with that, where that elev elevator takes us. But this is going to be pretty epic, I think. Alright. There are no sounds. Okay, this is kind of creeping me out. Music. Castle elevator. It's pretty nice. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy. I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. Keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Huh, he even showed us where the keys are. Alright, let's explore first. There's a hot uh, shaped locket inside the, the box. Will you take it? Uh, hang on a second. Alright, now we can take it. I think this is uh, the best armor in the game. So, though I still don't think armor does anything. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Why would he leave this for, this for us? Like if he's trying to capture a monster, you wouldn't. Monster's full. At least if he wants us to, like, kill him. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Okay. Oh wait. Spice and friction, it's silly. It's has called journal. All the pages is, is nice day today. The ink is almost wet. It's still almost wet. It's a kink sized bed. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Okay. It's a close, it's a close uh, drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Great, Mr. Dead Guy. Macaroni out of a flower for King Death. Alright. It seems. From what we have seen around his house, it seems pretty nice. It's just a typical dad. Asriel, the king's son, heard the, heard the human's call. He 
brought the human back to the castle. Okay. So I think the kid that they are talking about is Chara. The first kid. Because this guy is just like... Wait, I didn't read that. It's a great reading chair. But it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Okay. There are photo albums, crap books, books on how to make tea. <laughs> okay. Seems like a gardening tool. Gardening tools. It's a golden flower. Over time, as we all and the human became became like siblings. The king and the queen treated the human like the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Okay, nice. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Okay, that's the other key. You put, you took uh, the key and put it in your phone's keychain. Or cane chi. Alright, I guess he's been trying to make Bob's much pie, but he's not good at baking them. Alright. <laughs> You unlock the chain. Okay. It's gonna be pretty tense. Then one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request: to see the flowers from the vi from the village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. The music is getting very emotional. As we all racked with grief, absorbed the human soul, it transformed into an into an into a incredible being. I can't read. He transformed into a being with incredible power. But the human, with the human soul, as we crossed crossed through the barrier, he carried the human soul into the sunset, back to the village. Of the humans, of the humans. I can't read. As we reached, reached the center of the village, there he found a bed of golden flowers. Oh! I found like uh, the, uh, the golden flowers like uh, all existed like. Like the ones like on uh, the first uh, on the entrance of like uh, on the very intro of the game, like all these is just, like uh, in the Undertale, in the underground. I can't talk for suddenly screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. He thought that he had killed it, killed the child. <laughs> Can't stop. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow, as we all have the power to destroy them all. But, as we did not fight back, Touching the human, as he smiled and walked away.
wounded as we stumbled, stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the golden the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had taken once everything once again everything have the humans had again had once again taken everything from us. Gosh, I can't talk at all. Lately I've been uh I've been stuttering a lot with words. I just had a ha had a hard time speaking. I don't know why. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human human who fall down here must die. With enough souls we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Askor will let us go. King Askor will, will give us hope. King Askor will save us all. Okay. Not sure if war is the best answer. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? I guess. You're going to be free. Okay. Wait, I want to go down here first. Last corridor. This is the room that the court or the hall that everybody talks about. Okay, I'm trying to move forward, but so we finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will. Okay, I missed that. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every XP you have earned. What's, what is XP? It's an acronym. It stands for, it stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your AXP increases. When you have enough AXP, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance it yourself, the less it will hurt. The less you will hurt. The more you easily, the more you easily become, you more you easily can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you, you're completely innocent or naive. You just kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles, or the hardships, or the hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone, even when you can, even when you run away. You did it with a smile. <laughs> you gain, you never gain love, but you gain love. Does that make sense? Yeah, really it does. <laughs> Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your journey, of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, Monsters will remain trapped underground. What would you do? Well, if I were you, I would, I would have 
thrown away the towel by now. You know, it, it's it's so it's so fascinating how like uh, powerful Sans is and lazy, and yet so lazy he is like at the same time. But you didn't, but you, but you didn't get this far by by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. What does he know that? So as long as you hold on, so as long, so as long you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. Well, come on, you kid. Oh, thanks, Sam. Good luck. He he's just left. It's gonna be nuts. Ready? Let's go. Throne room. Last corner. The music is stopped again. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on this. Four. It's empty. So this is where all the souls of uh, the humans that have been here before. And they are dead. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. The way she's passing. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh, shot. Oh. I was so glad you want to say we like a cup of tea. But you know where it is. Okay. Nice day, huh? Very so thinking. Flowers are to me. Perfect mode for a game of catch. You know what you must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Oh my god. I like how the chair, the throne is itself got like a face. And uh, I know for a fact that this is like uh, Soya's throne, but she likes him. How tense. Just think of if it's like a visit to the dentist. Or a visit to the Grim Reaper. Okay. Are you ready? If you're not, I understand. Not with the art. Right, so I'm out of like recording time, so I'm gonna end this episode right here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments of this episode. 
If you like this series so far, smash like. If not, smash dislike. And we'll see you guys in the next one.